Hey, friends, come on in. Pull up a chair. Pull up a chair. Let's catch up, shall we? Let's catch up. We run a video sweatshop here at I Love Rose <laughs> Stories, and he is the main slave. So this is an elephant in the room, and I want to... Do I want to drag him into the room or kick him out of the room? You want to kick him out of the room. If you start the conversation, you kick him out of the room, Are you supposed right? to eat him? No, you don't eat him. So when there's an elephant in the room, you got to <laughs> talk about the elephant. So we're talking about the elephant. So the elephant is this. For the last couple of weeks, you guys know they've been following for a while. We have a video every Friday. But the last couple of weeks, we put it out on Saturday. Or one week, we didn't even put it out. And here's the thing. <laughs> we didn't think anybody would notice. Jason and I literally had this conversation. Eh, one Friday, people won't notice. People noticed. People talked to us about it. We got emails about it. And I totally appreciate that. Like, I look at that and think, like, you guys care. We totally appreciate that. So that's the elephant in the room. Why has it been that way? The primary reason is... Jason's been extremely busy. And I don't know if you guys know, but editing some of these videos are, like, very intense. And he does a lot of stuff now. He he shoots kind of seminars. He does walkthrough videos, testimonial videos. He'll just do special projects for certain people besides doing all of real estate stories. So he gets swamped. What do you say about that, Jason? I'll tell you what it is, too. And what is it? I'm in the process of learning lessons about time management and about delegation. I like that. I just want to take this time to say thank you very much because we love that you guys care. And we thought, you know, you guys might not have noticed. We thought we could sneak it by you. But obviously, we couldn't sneak it by you. So we appreciate that. We appreciate that you guys care. We also thought we'd take this week and give you guys a little update. It's been, we're three quarters of the way through the year. And we just want to say kind of what's been going on. Um, so we're going to do that. So what are some things that are going on? What's been going on? Well, first thing, one of my major, well, we're going to go over my goals this year and not all of it is real estate related. So let's, we'll go into some real estate stuff. I'm going to get to that for sure. But one of the goals I had this year was to run a marathon. Those of you who are following us know that I was not a runner, but I started running this year and I did run a marathon in May. No! People ask me all the time. So what are you doing now? Are you gonna run another marathon? Are you still running? The answer is yes, I'm still running. Probably about three days a week. I just like doing it, clears my head. But exciting news, drum roll. Jason has been running. Talk, talk to me about that. How's that been going? It's been awesome. I felt really good. Hey, where are all those kids with the cups? We're thirsty. Looking for the tables. We don't see any. Been like 90 days now. We're pretty much at the end of this challenge to wake up at 5:30. I don't like waking up at 5:30. To go to bed by 10:30, and to run according to this schedule. We're walking for half an hour. See ya. You think I cannot run with the schedule? Can run. We're about to go run for 40 minutes. Okay, we're gonna run 20. Walk five, run 20, walk five. And I've, I feel like I've been living this kind of constant personal confirmation. It's absolutely no question in my mind anymore why it would be that to wake up at 5.30 and to go to bed early like would make a person more successful. Wow, if that's guys, all you get from this video update, it's go to sleep at a reasonable hour so you can get good sleep, wake up at 5.30 before the world is pounding you and it's powerful. compound that by running. Yeah, it's so powerful. It's cool. So there's an update and a challenge. Wake up early and run. Follow the schedule. Other update, my wife had a baby eight weeks ago, our baby eight weeks ago, and Little people always Jeff ask Wowser, me. Baby Jeff Wowser, McFarland. <laughs> baby Jeff Wowser, McFarland. You might have caught that video. <laughs> and, uh, you should name him Jeff Blouser. You should Blouser. name him Jeff Blouser. Jeff Blouser McFarland. That's it. Deep to left field for Blouser. Blouser with a great stop. Love Braden, he's our fourth kid. He's amazing. Uh, but he cries a lot. Certain babies don't cry a lot. Our baby <coughs> cries a lot. <coughs> There's something about that where you're, where you're holding a baby that's crying and you can't really do anything about it other than hold it. And like it teaches you patience. It made me realize that I'm not as patient as I think I am. And you've got this crying, screaming baby in your life. You just need to like love it. Right? Another cool thing that happened this year was my self-directed IRA, I set up an IRA LLC. And you know what's cool about that? One, it's easier to administer. Like, the speed of stuff is amazing. But for those of you who don't know, you set up an LLC, which is funded by your IRA, your self-directed IRA, funds it. So then you have all the money just in an LLC, and you can direct it. You could buy a house, you could do loans, which is primarily what I do. But the cool thing about that is, not only is my Roth there, my HSA there, my wife's there, 
my brothers and sister, everybody's involved in this. Jason, yeah, his money's there. His money is working right now, working in loans. My little brother Matt, my sister, uh, her husband, my parents were all there. So it's a cool. It's kind of a thing we do together. I'm happy about it. IRA LLC. It's been cool. I'm super happy about it too. And you got to go to an attorney. They can set that up for you. If you know what you're doing, though, it can be a great thing. Just any attorney. We, an attorney that knows what you're talking about that set up an LLC <laughs> that had a fund in IRA, right? Yeah. IRA LLC. Hire us as your lawyers, and no one will violate your rights. I mean, no one. Wrong. Another cool thing this year. Big update with uh, the wholesale and retail flipping company. Last year, I did about 160 deals. So this year, my goal was to do more than that. And where we're at currently right now through, so July through August, not counting September, July through August, we're at 171 deals. It's about 21 deals a month. Nice. So that's a big improvement for last year. Last year we probably did 13, 14 deals a month. We're at 21 average. So for the next four months, if we keep that up, we'll end up doing about 250 deals-ish, which is amazing. Yeah, buddy. One of my goals this year was not only to do more deals, was to flip some more deals. Because primarily last year I did a lot of wholesale stuff. This year I did a little more retail flips. So currently we have 17 retail flips going on. And we sold a bunch. I mean, we'll probably end up doing 30 retail flips this year. So I'd say if we do 240, 250 deals, 30 of those will be retail flips, which is a lot more than we did last year because we didn't do a ton of retail flips last year. So that's been really cool. One of the other things going on right now, Justin Williams and I do a thing called House Flipping Formula, which is the way we teach people how to, to invest in real estate, uh, house flipping, right? Wholesaling and retail and all that stuff. And we're relaunching that right now. And with the relaunch, Justin came up with this pretty cool thing. It's called the Business Analyzer. Hey, Case, what you doing? Oh, I'm just working on my house flipping business. Nice! <laughs> For the past 10 years since I've been investing in real estate, I've noticed something. Very few investors work on their business. They're always working in their business, grinding it out, but rarely do they work on their business. Maybe they just don't know what to do. And I actually went through and took it, and I was pretty impressed by it. It's a series of questions that, that asks you, uh, you know, about your real estate investing business. And through answering those questions, it gives you kind of some clarity on why you are at where you're at with your real estate investing business. If it's just you, if you have a team or whatever. So I went through that. I thought it was really cool. You guys can go through it too. I've linked it beneath this video so you can click on it. You know, it takes you like four or five minutes to ask. And just going through that, answering those questions, you realize, oh man, I need to do this. I need to do that. If you're new to real estate, this will help you know what you need to do. If you've been in real estate for a while, this will help you identify some key things. Some key things that have helped um, several people I know at an additional six-figure income just by altering and adjusting or adding or changing this this one or two things. Become aware of what you're doing in your business, where the bottlenecks are, um, why you're not getting consistent deal flow, and where you stack up in the range of investors. Because at the end it says you stack up here or here or here, or wherever it is you stack oh, up. That's interesting. So you kind of get those results, which is cool. So click on that, it's absolutely free. You can go through that and it'll, it'll definitely be valuable to you. Also, in conjunction with that, we are relaunching House of Before the Meeting. We're opening the doors, taking on more students. So if that's something you're interested in, learning about real estate, kind of the inside, coaching calls, and getting more like how-to videos, because I know these videos are, I mean, you get a lot of you know, 10,000 foot view here, but those are kind of how to 101, 201, like how to do real estate stuff. House Living Formula 4.0 provide you with absolutely everything you need to be successful as a house flipper or a wholesaler. House Flipping Formula 4.0 contains over 40 hours of educational video content taught by Andy and myself. We teach you everything you need to know to be successful as a house flipper or a wholesaler. So we'd love to see you guys on the inside if that's something you're interested in. So with that, a lot of people might not know because honestly, I wasn't even clear on this. So maybe clarify, when you talk about opening the doors, like do the doors close? Like do, do oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Is, is there like a specific number of people or something like that? Like, like, I mean, I always sort of thought, and maybe people have this impression that House of Informia is where you teach and they can go there, but they have to go there at a certain time, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that's an interesting thing too. Certain people have programs that call them Evergreen, which is all the time that you're just taking students all the time. Our program is not like, wait, we close the doors, uh, meaning we just have the people on the inside, we're doing the coaching calls, we're going through a series of weeks together. Love these coaching calls, that was so fun. Every month, Andy and I have a live coaching call. We generally pick a topic or just answer your questions. Last month, we brought on Luke Watkins. Luke is Andy's dispositions manager and shared with us his exact process for helping Andy's team sell about 20 wholesale deals a month and how he has been able to increase their average profit per deal by about $4,000 
per transaction. Thousands and thousands of dollars, right this year, Luke? Like, yeah, it's been, it's been a good thing. A very good thing, right? There's a couple of key things that we've done this year that Luke's done that has enabled that. So we'll, we'll definitely talk about it. People are probably very curious, Luke. When somebody raises their hand and say, yes, they want it, then what's that process? Where do they bring a check? What do they sign? How does it work from there, right? Yeah. You guys loving this? Could be any more step-by-step? Step? Do you guys share stuff? Because yeah. we could. that's something that we could share. We had many students reach out and say this one call alone was worth more than the price of admission into the entire house flipping formula program. And then when you hire somebody, you could show them that process and make it really easy. You do all of these steps. Not only will you get monthly calls where you can ask us questions live, but you'll also receive the recording of these calls. And we have 30 calls, just like the one I mentioned, ready to go for you when you join House Flipping Formula 4.0. Can you guys see my screen? Yep. We call it our deal tracker. We get a property under contract. This is the day we got it under contract. This is the seller. This is the property address. It goes from projected, but then it comes over here to actual. So we actually made 54,000 on that one. And at certain times of the year, we'll open the doors again. We'll take on new people. We'll kind of take them through that process again. That's There's like a batch of people going through yeah. that. So that's what we're doing now. We're opening up that's to take cool. the new batch. Graduating class of... <laughs> yeah, something like graduating awesome. class of 2016. <laughs> so we are opening the doors again, so you can get in there if you'd like to do that. It's more of a personal thing if you're interested in, in doing that type of stuff. There was this quote I read recently that I really liked, and I'm gonna paraphrase it here, but it said, I'd rather fail at something that will ultimately succeed than succeed at something that will ultimately fail. Mm. The idea is I'd rather be a part of something that will ultimately succeed and push, put my effort and energy towards that than they put my effort and energy towards something that I'm succeeding in, but I'll ultimately fail. I think it was Woodrow Wilson that said that. Be clear on what it is you want, because you're gonna get opinions from everybody, and they're gonna be telling you what it is that they want. But decide what it is that you want and work towards that. Whether that means waking up early, running, starting a house flipping business, IRA LLC, having kids, whatever it is that you want, be clear on what it is that you want and push towards that, and you're gonna find fulfillment in that and success in that. <laughs> And although it hurt a little bit first because I felt like we'd let you guys down, yeah. ultimately, it makes me feel really good that there's a group of you guys out there that care. So thank you so much for caring. And we're going to do the best we possibly can to have those videos out every Friday. Yeah, we run a video sweatshop here at I Love Roses Stories. <laughs> and he is the main, main slave. Jason runs a video sweatshop. At least it's me and not like 20, like 12-year-olds. Jason is cranking out a lot of videos every week. <laughs> and he, as he's been able to do what he does, a lot of people notice that. And he does side work for a lot of people because he's good at what he does. But the problem with that is he's only got so many hours in a week yep. and uh, he's running his face off. Yep. No pun intended, because you are running. <laughs>